सो है स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज केमिकल कैरेटिक्स ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट केमिकल कैरेटिक्स केमिकल कैरेटिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ रिएक्शन रेट्स एंड देयर मैकेनिज्म द रेट ऑफ अ रिएक्शन कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द चेंज इन कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ अ रिएक्टेंट और अ प्रोडक्ट इन यूनिट टाइम फॉर द रिएक्शन आर टू पी रेट इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा आर अपॉन डेल्टा टी और रेट इक्वल टू प्लस डेल्टा पी अपॉन डेल्टा टी यूनिट्स ऑफ रेट एंड कंसनट्रेशन टाइम माइनस वन दैर इज मोल एल माइनस वन एस माइनस वन और ए डी एम एस माइनस वन फॉर गैसियस रिएक्शन एवरेज रेट ऑफ अ रिएक्शन इन इज द एवरेज वैल्यू ड्यूरिंग लास्ट टाइम इंटरवल आर एवरेज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा आर अपॉन डेल्टा टी विच इज फर्दर इक्वल टू डेल्टा पी अपॉन डेल्टा टी इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज द रेट ऑफ अ रिएक्शन एट अ पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंस ऑफ टाइम दैर इज वन delta t approaches zero r or rate of is rate at instant is minus dr upon dt equal to dp upon dt factors influencing rate of reaction concentration greater the concentration of the reactants faster is the rate of reaction physical state of reaction so reaction involving gaseous reactants are faster than reaction containing solids and liquid reactants temperature the rate of a reaction increases with increase in temperature for most of the reactions the rate of reaction becomes almost double with 10 degree rise in temperature presence of catalyst a catalyst generally increases the speed of reaction surface area of reactants for a reaction involving a solid reactant or catalyst the greater is the surface area the faster is the reaction presence of light photochemical reactions takes place in presence of light only activation energy lower the activation energy faster is the reaction dependence of rate on concentration rate expression and rate constant for the reaction a a plus b b giving c c plus d d rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants rate is directly proportional a to the power x and b to the power y the exponents a x and y may or may not be equal to stoichiometric coefficients a and b of the reactants and x and y the exponents are found experimentally okay rate equal to minus dr upon dt which is further equal to k a to the power x and b to the power y where k is proportionality constant for rate constant and this equation is for rate law or rate expression rate law is the expression in which reaction rate is given in terms of the molar concentration of reactants with with each term raised to some power which may or may not be as same as a stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in a balanced chemical equation the sum of powers or the concentration of reactants in the rate law expression is called order of reaction for the rate law expression uh, rate equal to k a to the power x and b to the power y x plus y gives the overall order of a reaction order of a reaction can be 0 1 2 and 3 and even a fraction order can even be a fraction examples zero order 2 nh3 in presence of platinum at 1130k giving n2 plus 3h2 rate equal to k nh3 to nh3 to the power 0 which is equal to k h2 plus cl2 in presence of sunlight giving 2 hcl rate is equal to k first order reaction 2 n2o5 giving 4 no2 plus o2 rate equal to k n2o5 nh4no2 giving n2 plus 2h2 rate equal to k nh4no2 second order 2 no2 giving 2 no plus o2 rate equal to k no2 to the power 2 h2 plus i2 2hi rate equal to k h2 i2 third order 2 no plus o2 
giving 2NO2 rate equal to KNO to the power 2O2. 2NO plus Cl2 2NOCl rate equal to KNO to the power 2 Cl2. Fractional order CH3CHO giving CH4 plus CO rate equal to KCH3CHO to the power 3 by 2. Rate of reaction constant K equal to rate upon A to the power X B to the power Y. Concentration upon time into 1 upon concentration to the power N where N is the order of reaction. Taking T half equal to 1 upon A to the power N minus 1. Taking SI unit of concentration mole per liter and time second, the units of rate constant K for different reaction order are listed below. Zero order reaction order is zero. So mole L minus 1 upon S into 1 upon mole to the power mole L minus 1 to the power 0 giving zero order reactions unit uh, unit of rate constant is mole L minus 1 S minus 1. For first order reaction order is 1. So unit of rate constant is S minus 1. For second order reaction order is 2. So rate unit of rate constant is mole minus 1 L S minus 1. The number of reacting species, atoms, ions or molecules taking part in an elementary reaction which must collide simultaneously in order to bring about a chemical reaction is called molecularity of a reaction. For example, unimolecular NH4NO2 giving N2 plus 2H2O, only one NH4NO2 is reacting, so it is unimolecular. The number of reactants sum is molecularity. Okay. Bimolecular 2HI giving H2 plus I2, so 2HI is there, so 2 is the molecularity of the reaction, that is, it is a bimolecular reaction. Trimolecular 2N2 plus O2 giving 2NO2, so here uh, it is, uh, molecularity is 3, that is, it is trimolecular 2N2 plus 1O2. Probability that more than the 3 molecules can collide and react simultaneously is very small. Hence, reactions with the molecularity 3 are very rare and slow to proceed. So, you can find a four. Uh, you can rarely find a four uh, uh, reaction having four molecularity. Okay, or tetra molecule. Difference between order and molecularity of reaction. Order. It is an experimental quantity and cannot be calculated. But molecularity of a reaction can be calculated by simply adding the molecules of the slowest step. Order of a reaction can be fractional as well as zero. But molecularity is always a whole number. Order of a reaction is applicable to elementary as well as complex reactions. But molarity, molecularity is applicable only for elementary reactions. Order of a reaction for a complex reaction order is given by slowest step. Molecularity of a reaction for complex reaction molecularity has no significance. For complex reactions there is no significance of molarity. Okay. It integrated rate equations for reactions of different order. Rate, order, rate law and rate constant. Rate. Reactant into product 0 order rate equal to k to the power r to the power 0 giving rate equal to k. k equal to r0 minus r upon t where r0 is initial concentration and r is the concentration at a given time. Rate into product order first order r rate equal to k into r given by k equal to 2.303 upon 2 log r0 upon r. Reaction uh, is 2 R giving products order is 2 rate equal to k to the power r to the power 2 k equal to 1 upon t 1 upon r naught 1 minus 1 upon 1 upon r minus 1 upon r naught a plus b giving products 2 rate equal to k a and b k equal to 1 upon t 2.303 a naught up minus b naught log b naught a upon a naught b 3 r into product order is 3 rate equal to k r to the power 3 k equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 2t 1 upon 2t 1 upon r square minus 
1 upon r naught square. Some typical linear plots for reactions of different orders are given below. 0 order, 1st order, 2nd order and 3rd order. For 0 order, slope is minus k and for 1st order, slope is minus k upon 2.303. Okay, plot for integrated rate equations, zero order, uh, it does not depend on the concentration of reactants and first order is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants. And second order also and third order also. Half life of a reaction. The half life of a reaction is the time in which the concentration of reactant is reduced to one half of its initial concentration. It is represented as T half. For zero order reaction, T half equal to R naught upon 2K. T half is directly proportional to initial concentration for zero order reaction. For first order reaction, T half equal to ln2 upon K, which is further equal to 0.693 upon K. T half is independent of R naught for first order reaction. And n upon n not equal to 1 upon 2 to the power n, t equal to t half into n, t half equal to 0 0.693 upon k. Plots of half life versus concentration, t half directly proportional to r not 1 minus n, okay. For zero order, it is directly proportional to the reactant's concentration. For first order, it does not depend. So the slope will be constant. And for zero order, it will be straight line. Pseudo or first order reactions are those reactions which are not truly of the first order but under certain conditions become reactions of the first order. For example, acid hydrolysis of ethyl acetate CH3COOC2H5 plus H2O giving in the presence of H plus giving CH3COOH plus C2H5OH rate equal to K to the power k dash ch 3 cwo c 2 h 5 h 2 o k equal to ch 3 cwo c 2 h 5 where k equal to k dash into h 2 o Acid catalyzed inversion of cane sugar C12 H22O11 cane sugar plus h 2 o giving H plus C6 h 2 o 6 glucose plus C6 h 2 o 6 fructose K C12 H22O11 Temperature dependence of rate of a reaction for a chemical reactions with rise in temperature by 10 degrees C, the rate constant is nearly double. Arrhenius equation K equal to A to A e to the power minus E A upon R T. K to the power E A minus R T. Where A is free exponential factor, Arrhenius factor or frequency factor. E A is activation energy and E to the power minus E A upon R T corresponds to the fraction of molecules that have kinetic energy equal or greater than E A. E minus E A upon R T. Ln K equal to minus E A upon R T L plus Ln A log K equal to minus E A upon 2.303 R T plus log A. The plot of log k versus 1 upon t gives a straight line with slope equal to minus e a upon 2.303 upon r intercept is log a log k2 upon k1 equal to e a upon 2.303 r 1 minus t1 minus 1 upon t2 log k2 upon k1 equal to e a upon 2.303 r1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 they have directly asked this uh, formula or in the exam okay so focus on this where k1 and k2 are the values of rate constant of at temperature t1 and t2 respectively effect of a catalyst on the rate of reaction a catalyst is a substance which increases the rate of a reaction without its itself undergoing any permanent chemical change Catalysts provide an alternate pathway or reaction mechanism by reducing the activation energy between the reactants and product and hence lowering the potential energy barrier as shown in the uh, figure. Okay. A catalyst does not alter Gibbs energy, delta G and delta H of a reaction. 
it catalyzes the spontaneous reactions but does not catalyze non spontaneous reactions a catalyst does not change the equilibrium constant of a reaction rather it helps in attaining the equilibrium faster collision theory of chemical reactions reactions occur due to collision of molecules all collisions are not effective effective collisions are those collisions in which molecules collide with sufficient kinetic energy called forward energy which is equal to activation energy plus energy possessed by re reacting species and proper orientation rate equal to p z a b e minus e a upon r d where p is probability or steric factor which takes into account the fact that in a collision molecules must be properly oriented and z a b is collision frequency number of collision per second per unit volume of a reaction mixture of reactants a and b number of collision per second per unit volume okay this is all about chemical kinetics so revise properly and they will give one or two portions every year in neat exam from this chapter chemical kinetics so focus mostly on uh, rate and uh, order and uh, this activation energy okay all the best